In this video, I'm going to talk about the 10 apps that you probably should have installed on your phone uh, for, to make your life in Germany easier. <laughs> hey, I'm Jen from SimpleGermany.com, where we help expats settle into life in Germany more smoothly. <laughs> so what apps are so special that you need to have in Germany that you don't have anywhere else? Well, let me start with my list. The number one app is WhatsApp. It's pretty much a messaging app. So rarely in Germany will you find actually people sending you SMS messages or iMessages, which are for iPhone. So here WhatsApp is pretty much the way to go. All your friends, coworkers, everyone will want to communicate through WhatsApp, through groups, through chats, uh, video calls. It's very, very popular. So your number one app to download, it is WhatsApp, uh, which is free, by the way. You don't need to pay for it. It's a free app. Number two, you will need a transportation app. And this one, it depends uh, like what you want to do. So there are two most popular ones, I would say. Number one is the Deutsche Bahn Navigator. That one is super cool because it's in English. You download it and you can buy train tickets, obviously, through it. <laughs> so I usually use this one for train tickets that are a little bit more um, like for longer distances. So, for example, I live in Dusseldorf. So if I would want to go to Munich or Berlin, I would use the Deutsche Bahn Navigator app to, to buy these like long distance tickets. However, locally within my local public transportation, I have my local app, uh, transportation app, which is called Rheinbahn, I believe. Yes, Rheinbahn. I just find the, the it's a lot easier to use when it's a local app because it's obviously tailored to the needs for your local uh, public transportation. So also make sure to download the local transportation app for wherever you are living. Um, super cool, for example, as an example here in the, in the Rheinbahn app, I can save my profile, my payment method. It is super easy to buy a ticket and I can buy a one-way ticket. I, there's a happy hour ticket, for example, here in Dusseldorf that you can purchase after 7 p.m., um, 6 p.m., I think, and then you can use it until the next day, 7 a.m. This was back in the day when we could party all night. <laughs> and, uh, the other one, um... What else? Uh, and they have like other uh, bundle of tickets that you can buy. And I find just using the local app is a lot easier than the Deutsche Bahn Navigator. So make sure to download those two apps. Number four on my list is Google Maps. Uh, actually, it's super interesting because uh, in Guatemala, where I'm from, Waze is super popular. I know in the US as well, uh, Apple Maps is um, also super popular. However, here in Germany, Google Maps just seems to have the most amount of information and is the most commonly used. So we use it all the time for navigating, uh, for actually finding a place, also directions for walking, cycling, and obviously driving, right? Uh, sometimes they also have information about public transportation. I would say it's not so accurate most of the time, um, but it still works. It does a trick. At least you know more or less where you need to end up. And then there you can zoom in to find the train station and then use your local uh, transportation app to buy a ticket to that station or whatever. That's how I use it at least. Number five on my list is PayPal. I don't know if where you're coming from, PayPal is a popular choice. However, here in Germany, PayPal is used for multiple cases. For example, uh, at work, if you are going to have an office job and you will have a lot of coworkers um, or friends, actually, not just coworkers, uh, it's very common in Germany that people gather money for when a kid is born, for example, or uh, when someone got married or someone moved and has a new house. So for any kind of event uh, or for a birthday, obviously, right? Uh, so people might pool some money and the way to do that is to send money through PayPal. Which is funny, right? Because uh, we complain a lot that Germany is a, is, is a cash is king kind of country. However, PayPal is very used for these cases. In my particular situation, uh, when we, uh, we also use PayPal at work, for example, when we went to have lunch together and someone either forgot their credit, like their cash or credit card, or they didn't have a way to pay, usually one would lend the other money. And the way we got the money back was through PayPal. So PayPal is very common as well. Number six on my list is TransferWise. TransferWise is a money service and it's pretty cool because when you open an account with them, you actually have uh, by default three accounts. One of them is in US dollars, the other one is in pounds, and the other one is in euros. So if you are coming from a place where you have your money in a, in a, in a currency like dollars, for example, you can easily transfer the money from that account to your TransferWise account. Uh, through TransferWise, you also get like a debit card that you can use, so you can usually pay with that. So what is so cool about that? Well, first of all, transferring the money is a lot cheaper than a normal bank account uh, or an online transfer or a bank transfer from bank to bank. Um, also, this debit card, when you pay, let's say you have your money, let's say you're coming from the US, you have a bank account in dollars, you transfer dollars into your TransferWise dollar account, you pay with that TransferWise debit card here in Germany, you're going to use your dollars, but TransferWise is going to charge you a very little fee for transferring the money or for converting the currency from dollars to euros. 
I know it might sound complicated, but it's super easy to use. <laughs> I have friends that are from Mexico and the US and they use TransferWise all the wise to be, <laughs> they use TransferWise all the time to be able to transfer money between either to send to friends or family members or money that they have in Mexico or the US. They use TransferWise to, to, to transfer the money to Germany and be able to use it there. So super highly recommended. We love TransferWise also for traveling because like I said, you have one debit card and you can pay in different currencies and the exchange rate is not as high as a traditional bank would have it so pretty cool so check that out and number seven on my list or seven <laughs> is to have obviously a translation app so I personally like to use uh, Google Translate you can download an app as well for that however whenever you are having a conversation with Germans and they want to translate something they use Leo Leo is the I would say a more accurate also translating app that you can find in Germany I just find also that the translation makes more sense when you're uh, putting German sentences Leo will have a better translation than Google sometimes so you can download uh, either Google Translate or Leo both work uh, what else? Oh yeah, number eight on my list is how do you get taxis and stuff. So either obviously you can go to the street, maybe there are some taxis parked in certain areas that you can wave down. However, the way I usually order taxis is by using an app called Free Now. Before it used to be called Taxi Now, but now they renamed their branding and now it's called Free Now. Very straightforward app to use. Again, you create your profile, payment method, you get a, you order a taxi, comes to pick you up, you leave the taxi, it charges you automatically. Also, Uber is uh, becoming more popular in Germany. There was a big controversy for Uber to enter the German market, but that's a whole story of in its own. Uh, but I feel like uh, starting last year, 2020, Uber was uh, getting some traction and actually working properly. I don't know the background of all of it, but Uber is also a way that you can also order um, a taxi service to go from A to B. So what else? Uh, number nine on my list is that Obviously, if you have a phone and if you have apps, you will need data to use that phone, right? So you can go either one of two ways. You can either have a mobile contract or a prepaid card. Um, we have done all the research for you and you can find articles in Simple Germany, which I will link uh, below for you to check that out. But regardless of that, whatever you decide or service or telecommunication provider you decide to choose, most likely they will have an app. So I would highly recommend that you download this app on your phone because you will be able to easily th see information like how many gigabytes have you used, uh, what's your current invoice, if you have a prepaid card, how much money you have, uh, you can top up as, if I'm not mistaken as well. So you can do a lot of things through these apps. So that is pretty cool because then you don't have to deal with the bureaucracy of going to a shop or calling someone in German and having to answer all these simple questions. So highly recommended. And number 10 and final app that I have on my list is Oh, let me try to say this, is the eBay Klein Anzeigen. <laughs> and this one, uh, funnily enough, I don't know if it's funnily enough, but actually this app is very popular to purchase and sell used things. I know eBay is known worldwide, um, but there's an eBay.de and there's an eBay Klein Anzeigen, which to be honest, now that I think about it, I really don't know the difference. But anyways, the Kleine Anzeige one is the one that we use. I have used it very successfully to resell some things. For example, I resold my Switch there. I also bought a DJ set once to see if I could DJ some, but that was a big failure. And uh, so I resold that one there. Another use things, um, a lot of expats, when they are moving again, either to another apartment or going back home, they also use this to resell their furniture or whatever, and it's very successful. Just bear in mind that the conversation there is very transactional, it's very direct, um, and you might know, need to know some German to be able to negotiate with people. However, it's pretty straightforward. You upload uh, the pictures of your, of your things, uh, you put a description, the price, and then you put it online. Uh, the app is totally free to use and all the money, when you sell something, literally all the money goes to you. Um, a lot of people might ask if you have PayPal huh, to pay for the stuff uh, when they buy it uh, through eBay Client Einzeige. So again, a reason for you to have a PayPal account and to have that app installed. And um, yeah, it's been very successful to, that's how pretty much you resell things in Germany with eBay Kleine Anzeige. Anyways, I hope this video has helped you into having a glimpse into what apps might make your life in Germany a little bit easier. If you like this video, make sure to hit that like button and that subscribe button if you would like to like hear more about us in the future. Does that make sense? <laughs> so wish you the best of luck and see you next time. Tschüss.